I got to figure, and I don't know if this has been calculated, but there's got to be a pretty big ROI for getting George off his addiction and getting him back into quote unquote a normal functioning person society, right? We like we would we absolutely believe so, and I think you know that's excuse me, that's evidence from the you know what evidence is the improved liver function in the phase three trial. Liver is liver liver disease is the biggest killer of people who suffer from alcohol use disorder. So if you can reduce that, you reduce total cost of treatment. But yeah. another thing about cost that you mentioned is the great thing about how this trial was designed and the methodology that we've in licensed from the trial is the biggest challenge for the healthcare service in general, but also the psychedelics, the psychedelic assisted therapy industry is a shortage of staff to deliver these treatments. The trial was designed for the therapy to be delivered by low intensity therapists or relatively inexperienced and therefore lower cost therapists, thereby addressing two things. For commercial partners, they can deliver this, this service at a lower price point or a higher margin. So for the licensing partner, the commercial therapeutics commercialization proposition that we're looking to go into in the US, we have a solution that has been proven in a clinical trial to be more effective than anything currently available. And because wow. of how it has been designed, it can be delivered at a lower price point, or sorry, a lower, price, lower cost base. So therefore a lower price or a higher margin, depending upon what their business model is. If you love that clip, give us a like, then hit the link to watch the full video. Don't forget to subscribe.